Hello and welcome back to a new video of Explore Bio. Today we will learn about enzymes, what they are, why they are important, how they work, some of the key factors and conditions essential for proper enzyme function. I will also be covering terms such as cofactors, coenzymes, prostatic groups, holoenzyme, isozymes, lock and key model, and induced fit model. So watch the video till the end. First, let's understand why enzymes are important. Most if not all the biological processes that occur in an organism involves enzymes. Enzymes are involved in a variety of functions, for example, they help in digestion of food to smaller molecules that can be readily absorbed and utilized by our bodies. They are also involved in building muscles, respiration, photosynthesis, DNA replication, DNA damage repair, protein synthesis, cell division and what not. But what are enzymes? Enzymes are biomolecules, generally proteins, that catalyzes biological reactions, rapidly converting one compound into another. However, certain RNAs also show catalytic functions, for example ribozymes. Enzymes are biocatalysts that can increase the rate of biochemical reaction up to a million times. For example, an enzyme, carbonic anhydrase present in red blood cells, speeds up the conversion of water and carbon dioxide to bicarbonate ion and hydrogen ion by about 10 million times compared to an uncatalyzed reaction. While some reactions may not occur at all without enzymes, the interesting thing about enzymes is that they speed up the reaction, they are involved in the reaction but they themselves are not used up in the reaction. Enzymes may be highly specialized in their function, which means they only catalyzes a particular reaction converting a particular substrate to its product. For example, amylase breaks down complex polysaccharide starch to its simple sugar. DNA polymerase replicates DNA by adding nucleotides to the replicating DNA fragment. ATP synthase utilizes ADP and inorganic phosphate to synthesize ATP. While certain enzymes perform more than one function and can convert a group of similar substrates to products. Some enzymes break down one substrate into two products, other enzymes bring together two substrates to form one product. While some enzymes reshuffle the functional groups and bonds. Coming on to how enzyme works and what is the mechanism of enzyme action. Enzymes are three-dimensional molecules that have active sites where substrate binds to the multiple weak interactions and get converted to product. These interactions may be electrostatic, hydrogen bonds, van der Waals forces or hydrophobic interactions. There are basically two models for enzyme substrate binding and enzyme action. The lock and key model and induced fit model. The lock and key model was proposed by Emil Fischer according to which both substrate and enzyme have rigid and fixed shape. The key which is a substrate fits into the active site of lock which is the enzyme and forms a product. Thus the substrate and enzyme should have complementarity in a structure. The second model is induced fit model which was proposed by Daniel Koshland which says that when a substrate is about to bind the enzyme it brings about conformational change in the active site of enzyme. Thus, this model is more flexible. But which model is right? Different enzyme shows features of both the models, slight complementarity and slight conformational change or flexibility. When a substrate binds to the enzyme, its activation energy or the energy required to get it converted to a product is significantly lowered so that the reaction can happen. The enzyme binds to one or more substrate making them interact easily so that bond breaking and bond formation becomes easily possible. Let's have a look at some of the necessary conditions and requirements for optimal enzyme function. For proper functioning of enzymes, an optimum temperature and pH is essential. Most of the enzymes that are in our body works at our body temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius. Some enzymes require acidic pH while other needs basic pH, while some other enzymes may work at neutral pH. Additionally, certain enzymes may require a non-protein cofactor which may be a coenzyme such as vitamin or inorganic ion such as calcium or magnesium for its proper functioning. 
when a cofactor is tightly bound to the enzyme it is called as prosthetic group for example heme of the hemoglobin the protein part of the enzyme is called as apoenzyme and the non protein part is called as cofactor together they form a holoenzyme which is fully functional form of the enzyme isoenzymes or isozymes are different form of enzymes that catalyze same reaction but have different amino acid sequence physical and kinetic properties such as different isoelectric point substrate binding affinity optimum ph effect of inhibitors different isoenzymes may be active in different tissues and different developmental stages or stress conditions isoenzymes are also used as molecular markers for more information on it you can watch the video given in the link below in my upcoming video i will be explaining about enzyme inhibition and various types of enzyme inhibition subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay informed about my latest uploads if you find the video useful do share it with others comment below your queries or request check out my playlist on research and publishing genomics markers plant tissue culture diseases and immunity bioinformatics and others finally thanks and see you in my next video